Hi, this is Deirdre in the Admissions Office in the IT in Sligo and today I'm just going to go through the process of our online registration. Um, all students receive communication from the Admissions Office uh, with their login and their PIN in order to register online with us. So the first thing you get is a link to our page where it will bring up this page and you need to go into Enter Secure Area. Now the email or the communication that you have from us will have your um, login and your PIN. Your login is your student ID which always begins with a capital S and is followed by numbers, zero zeros. And your PIN then can be, um, it will be also in the email that you get. So we're, from there we need to go to student services and financial aid and from there online registration. So the first thing we have to tick is the academic year which is current year 2021. So you tick and you submit. Uh, the Institute requests consent for you, so you have to read our terms and conditions. Um, for the purpose of this uh, video, I'm just confirming, but the details are available on, by that link there, so you can read in your own time. We also need permission to contact you by SMS. You may say you may consent or otherwise. We would advise to uh, consent um, as SMS is used by the exams office to contact students regarding registration or exams and PINs. So the first thing you need to fill out is uh, these uh, your personal information. As you fill out the different parts, as you can see, some are ticked and some aren't. As you fill them out, they are ticked so you can move on. So the personal information that we require will already be there from your application. So it's only in the case of if you have to update, say, your email address or your contact number. Then you hit continue. Again, all the information will be there. So this is your mailing address. So... Um, you go on to the next, that's your alternative address, should you have one. Um, then the emergency contact, should, in the event of an emergency, who, who is the person that we should contact. The parts with the uh, uh, red asterisks are uh, required, so you have to fill those in. The next comes to your program or your course details, so that gives you the title, the year, the level, so you can see all the information there. This is the module subject information. So this here gives you all the modules that are available on your program. If you have any issue with them, you need to contact the admissions office at admissions at itsligo.ie for an update. This is where your third, last third level institute attended. This information is required for the HEA uh, for statistical purposes. So the whole list of different types of your highest qualification are there. So you're able to fill out whichever is the most appropriate for you. Um, you can all, they also need to know the type of institution attended. So that is if you had said you were previously in an Irish Institute of Technology. Again, it could be any um, higher level um, institute. Um, there is no need to fill in the dates. Um, the year of graduation, if you are a graduate and are progressing to an, another programme. And the last question to ask there is, are you entering through a government, a government initiative? This is where if you were, say, a springboard student uh, studying on our online courses, you would pick springboards there. And then you submit or continue, shall I say. Now, full time students, if you have applied for a SUSE grant, um, you can enter your application number there. If not, you simply type in no and O. And then second question. This is all in relation to your fee status, so it's us in the IT of Sligo. So if you have spent three of the last five years in an EU country and can produce documentation of this if required, and you say yes or no. And continue. And then if there is a, a survey for you to complete there, you can uh, complete it. In our case, we do not have one. So this shows now that all the personal information that we need for registration has been completed. So the next part you do then is you sit, submit here, confirm registration. And this is declaration that all the information is accurate and true and that you agree to abide by the rules and regulations of the Institute of Technology Sligo. Our data protection notice is available here for reading if you'd like to take a read of that. So once you're happy with all that, then you agree to the terms and conditions above and you tick the button there and confirm registration. Now the final part would be your registration fees. So if there's fees outstanding on your account, it is, the term balance here tells you what that is. So you have a choice of pay now or pay later. If you hit the pay now button, it will bring you off to our um, global payments 
page where the, you can put in your um, credit card details or your debit card details and the payment goes through. And from that, you are fully registered student of Institute of Technology Sligo. Uh, you also have the option of paying later. This means that you will be temporary registered and you have the options of paying at a later date or by instalment. Also, if you are a student who is funded by uh, SUSE or if you are funded by your employer, if you're an online student, you should also hit the pay later button. This will mean that your, your registration will be updated. However, the fees will not be paid. They can be paid later by at a later date. So in order to confirm your registration, then all you need to do is agree to the terms and conditions above and hit pay later. And that gives you the confirmation you've hit the pay later, which means you're temporary registered um, and you will remain temporary registered until all fees have been paid by the, the by yourself or the appropriate grant authority or employer. Um, and that is you registered. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admissions at itsligo.ie. Thank you.